Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum to all students. Our topic today, chapter 4, mathematical functions. Okay, for information, uh, for chapter 4, we divide into two important parts. Okay, where the first one is 4.1, introduction. Okay, introduction to functions. And the second part, 4.2, is application. Okay, so let's begin for 4.1. Alright, so, um, okay, about the functions. Okay, before we go into deep, uh, what is on your mind when I said about function. Alright, so uh, what is functions? Okay, functions normally, normally we write in the form of fx or gx or the other one is hx. Okay, this is the mathematical form for the functions. And what is the definition for the function by the way? Okay, so now I have few examples before we proceed for the definition. Okay, the first example, okay, input versus output. Okay, functions, we write in the uh, in the form like this. Okay, fx, okay, ni example made bagi. fx equal to x square plus 1. Okay, where x is actually, we it is variables. Okay, apa maksud variables? Maksud variables ni, uh, dia boleh berubah. Okay. Because of uh, x, we can put any real number into x. When we substitute x uh, into the fun into the, we call it as the output. Okay, ni kita panggil dia output. Okay, this one. Okay, this area is the output. And x can also known uh, can also can also known as input. Kenapa kita panggil X sebagai input? Sebab kita boleh menggantikan X dengan any number. Okay, when we replace X, okay, for example, um, okay, for example, I have here FX. Okay, the example is FX equal to X square plus 1. Okay, kalau media menggantikan X ini uh, dengan simbol star, maksudnya kita akan masukkan star kat sini kuasa 2 tambah 1. Kalau media masukkan hash pun kat sini akan jadi hash square plus 1. Okay, let's say I put E into this one. So, I will replace X with E plus 1. So, sebab tu bila media cakap X itu adalah input, kita boleh menggantikan apa-apa value kepada X itulah. Alright, and then for this part, kita boleh menggantikan X dan kita mendapat um, area kat sini kita panggil dia output. Okay. Yeah, let's say kalau medium tukarkan dia menjadi um, nombor. Okay, let's say 2. So, X will be replaced with 2. 2 square plus 1. So, jawapan akhir dia akan kita dapat kat sini. 4 plus 1 equal to 5. Okay, inilah maksud dia adalah um, X sebagai input dan yang value selepas kita dapat substitute the value of X, we call it as output. Alright, okay one more thing, tadi kita belajar macam mana kita nak tulis dalam bentuk yang ni kan, mathematical form. Other than this, you can also use Y. Okay, Y equal to MX plus C. Supaya Y ini maksudnya adalah output, represent output and X just now is the input. Okay, ini dalam bentuk uh, function, dalam mathematical form. Kalau medium bagi dalam bentuk graph macam ni. Nampak tak medium ada dua graph. Okay, satu graph ni line dia ada uh, goes up. In that dia macam bentuk melengkung U ni kan. So, we know that now kita punya output berada adalah tadi kita belajar output adalah X. And then output adalah Y. Okay, now medium uh, present in the form of graph. So, you have to know that the location okay, where we should put input in the graph. So, input kita letak dalam X and then output kita letak dekat Y. Alright. So, macam mana kita nak belajar, uh, belajar baca dalam graph ni? Maksudnya, bila kita tengok kat sini, kita punya input adalah berapa kat situ? Input kita adalah ni lah, 3. Okay, 3. So, what is our output? Our output is C. Alright, so let's say our input is 4. Therefore, our, okay, you can see here, um, our output is B. 
Okey, sebab tu kita baca daripada gram macam tu. Okey, input adalah value yang berubah. Okey. And then when we have here, okey for each input we have one output, okey, three we have output C. Four we have output B. Okey, this is we call a function. Okay, let's say we have the second graph now. Okay, graph ni bentuk dia macam C kan. So, now we have here. Okay, input kita sekarang berapa? Input kita adalah 2. And then what is our output? So, our output it can be, ya, nampak tak kesan kita berapa output? The second one, kita ada satu. Okay, satu output and then the other one. Kita ada dua output kat sini. So, bila graf menunjukkan dua output, ini bukan function. Okay, function maksudnya apa? Dia kena setiap okay, this is not the, setiap function tu maksud dia for each input, there must be only one one and only one output. Setiap satu input mesti ada satu output saja. Itu baru kita panggil dia sebagai function. Okay. Okay, uh, what is functions? Okay, functions we can write into a few mathematical form where f functions is fx. Okay, or we can also write as gx and also hx. Okay, this is a form of functions. Okay, other than this, this is pattern number one. We also can write as y. Okay, y equal to, for example, y equal to mx plus c. Okay. This is pattern number two. Okay, now we proceed with the number one. Okay, before we uh, before we discuss the definition of the function, I will show you the few examples of functions. Okay, the pattern of the functions. Now, number one, input versus output. Okay, let's say I write fx equal to x square plus one. Okay, where we know Okay, concept uh, concept for the function is we have here x. Okay, so where x we call it as the variable by the way. Okay, why we call it as variable? X can be, okay, uh, x can be changed. Okay, we can put any real numbers into x. That's why x also known as input. Okay, when we substitute, okay, for example here, I have f star okay we replace x with star so how about the uh, right hand side just now x square plus 1 so we will replace x with star square plus 1 okay let's say now i um, our f okay inside the one this one is a so there will be a square plus 1 okay, kalau uh, middle to list Two, so maksudnya kita akan ganti dia jadi uh, 2 square plus 1 equal to 5 so we know that the area of okay for the x we call it as input okay once we substitute the value of x into the function we call this one as okay this area as output so we know that for each input that we substitute into the function we will get only one output alright same goes to this one and this one and now okay, kita proceed graph ok apa ok when you look at these two graph ok the first one ok graph number one we can see that ok this is like u graph ok where ok we know that x is the input just now at the x axis and y is the output ok now we have our input for 3 okay now our input is 3 so what will be our output our output is c okay when our input 4 and output is b so we know that for each input that we have now is okay we have only one output this one and this one okay for each input we have only one output and how about the uh, second graph like c okay c graph c shape so we now have input 2 and how many inputs that we have a output so now we have here this one and also this one right so we considered as uh, we considered at for uh, for this one we have 
one input but we have two output. Okay, between these two, which one is function? We know that the first graph is a function. Kenapa? Sebab, sebab we consider this one as a function because of setiap satu input cuma ada satu output sahaja. Sama juga, okay, and for the second one we have here. Adakah ini function? This is not a function because of Because of we have two outputs for one input. Okay. Alright. Okay, the third one is mapping. We can see here we have two examples. Okay, example one. Okay, where the first uh, the first one we have here x. And then this one what we uh, why we call it mapping because of the first circle. Okay, uh, where this is the input. Okay, mapping the value of x to the second circle, we call it as output. And we can see here for x, okay, x mapping to a and then uh, y to c and then z to b, right? So, we can see here for each input, we have x, y, z, okay? It is only have uh, one output. Therefore, this is a function. Okay, for the second one, we can see here. The input of X, okay, mapping to A and then Z mapping to two outputs. Therefore, okay, since Y has two outputs, this is not a function. Okay, because of Z has uh, two outputs. Therefore, we can conclude that the definition of function, okay, a function is a mathematical rule that assigns to each input value one and only one output value. Okay, now uh, I think you already understand the concept of function. Okay, inside the function, normally the question asks you to find the domain in which. Okay, what is, what is the definition for domain? Okay, domain means, okay, all possible input values where you have to, okay, when we say about input values, you have to find the values it uh, is on the x-axis. Okay, for the range, okay, all possible output values means that you have to look at the Y axis. Okay, now to find domain and range, we have um, you have to find normally domain and range from the graph, and second one from the function. Okay, to find the domain and range, you have to understand few symbols. Okay, in the graph. Okay, now um, okay, you have to use okay to 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 write domain and range, you have to use this notation. Okay, we can see here we have seven uh, symbols in graph. The first one, if you see here empty hole, means that this is, we call it as open. And means uh, that this is not inclusive in the graph. Okay, let's say I give you one example. Okay, this is graph of X and Y. And I have here empty hole, okay, empty circle for point number five. Okay, means that five is not included in the graph. Okay. Okay, let's say number two we have here. Uh, okay, the shaded, uh, the shaded circle. We call it as closed circle. Okay, let's say I have here closed circle for point number five means that point number five is inclusive in the graph. Okay, you have to use here. Okay, just now for the open circle you have to use open, um, uh, open bracket. Okay, this is what what we call is as open bracket. And then let's say for the closed circle you have to use square bracket. Okay. And then point number three, if you see arrow, okay, arrow goes up means that uh, this one goes up. Normally, we uh, this, we use this one for range, okay. Goes up means that the line goes to infinity and it has no limit, okay. You have to use uh, open bracket, okay. Set, uh, the, number four, the arrow goes down, okay. Goes down means that the graph... Um, Goes no, okay, no limit, no specific point. And then when it goes down, means that if you can see now for the y axis, okay, as the graph goes down, we have here negative value, right? That's why the negative, uh, this is the value for the negative infinity. Number five, we have here the arrow goes to, okay, goes right, means that we look for the domain, okay, goes right and goes to left, okay? Right means that 
positive infinity left negative infinity okay normally for the right and left arrow this one is for the domain up and down is for range right so for this for arrow you have to use uh, open bracket and the last one if you see dash line means that asymptote okay graph will never um, touch the, uh, the dash line okay Alright, so I hope you understand the symbol in graph. Okay, now we look um, okay, example in your book page 4 one. We have two examples where you have to find domain and range from the graph. Okay, now we have example 1. Okay, a state the domain and range for graph 1. Okay, first to find the domain. Okay, you have to read graph from left to right. Means that from here. Okay, from here to here. This one. Okay. So, firstly, we look point by point where we can see here we have a closed circle. Okay, for closed circle means you have to use square bracket and then point and number negative 5 is included in the graph. Okay. And then the graph goes up and then until point number nine and then the point okay stop here we can see we have um open circle okay so means that point number two is not included in graph so you have to use uh open bracket uh, open bracket okay so we stop at two and then we use union and then we continue point number two to the Okay, we can see arrow now. When we see arrow for the domain, we care about the arrow goes to right all the time. Okay, means that the arrow give you the information about the uh, infinity. Means that the graph has no limit, no specific point the graph will stop. Alright, so that's why we use here uh, infinity. And then for the infinity, because of no specific point, you have to use open bracket. Okay, okay this is the domain for this graph. And then how about range? Okay, for range, you have to read graph from the bottom to up, okay? So now, okay, for range, okay, we care about the lowest point on the graph, okay? Now we have the point of, uh, okay, my graph actually may not uh, be accurate. You can refer your graph in book. So, where I can see, okay, not this point, okay, we can see here the lowest point is at negative uh, 10, okay. So, negative 10, we can, uh, we can see here, uh, even though it then has the symbol of, okay, open and close circle, we know that when the line, okay, smooth, okay, without any uh, circle, okay. So, means that the lowest point is at, okay, it is exists at negative 10. And then, the graph is... Okay, goes up. For me, madam, you look only this line. Okay, goes up to the infinity. So, uh, for this one, you have to write, okay, infinity. And then the symbol is open bracket. Okay, that's all for this graph. Okay, example 2. Okay, you have to find the domain for example 2. Okay, domain we read draw from left now we can see that left we have negative infinity okay, and then the graph stop here we have a symptote okay when we have a symptote so you have here negative 8 and we use open bracket okay negative 8 is not included in the graph okay and then we continue we use union open bracket negative 8 and then the graph here, we go, uh, we stop graph at point of zero. So zero, you have to use uh, open bracket again, union, zero. And then the graph stop at point number four because of here we have uh, open, okay, open circle. Union. Four, and then we have here point number 11 we stop at 11 because of here we have uh, empty hole 
so we use open bracket okay so this is for the domain okay to find range from this graph we have three lines okay you can choose uh, one of three lines where we can see here this is a uh, line number one number two and number three okay because of for the range we care about the arrow okay if we, uh, either it goes up or goes down so we can choose from uh, graph number one this one and number two okay because of this one you can see both has a uh, arrow right so to find range this one much easier compared to find the domain where we care about the arrow goes down all the time okay and also it what this one they goes up all the time okay therefore no specific point for this graph the answer is negative infinity okay because of the graph goes down and then also the positive infinity because of the graph goes up all right so means that this one gives you uh, the answer of uh, also you can also write all real numbers for the range okay means that all the possible uh, output values at the y axis right this one is for range i hope you understand